you ever tried to update Epic Fortnite and it says install failed, not enough space? This video is going to go ahead and show you what you can do to go ahead and fix that. Simple as that. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to get your Epic fixed and get you in the game. If you're new here and you like tips, tutorials, and gaming all for Fortnite, make sure you do me a favor. Smack that subscribe button and hit that bell so you get notifications all the time. With that said, let's go ahead and go to the computer so I can show you what you have to do. And this is also going to apply to other things as well, not just the computer. So before we get on the computer, let me just explain if it happens somewhere else. On the phone, you want to go through and basically make more room. So you basically have too many games and you need to delete some. By going through and deleting some of your apps or photos or videos, things that take up a lot of space, you'll make more room for the game to be able to update. If you're running an iPhone, it would be under settings, general, and then iPhone storage. And you'll be able to go ahead and see what takes up the most space, because if it doesn't take up a lot of space, it's not worth deleting, because that's not going to really go ahead and get you fixed. So with that, if you're having a problem on PS4, Xbox, Switch, and it's saying install failed, not enough space, what you want to do is, again, remove something to make space. Usually it would be a game. It, the larger the game, the more space it has. So it depends on how much space it needs. It'll probably tell you. On my circumstance here, I only need 603 megabytes, and that's because I already did remove some stuff. But yeah... Fortnite is a large game, and because of that, you need to have a lot of space. And it just keeps getting larger, it seems, taking over pretty much my computer. So with computers, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to remove some stuff from the computer so we have space, and we're going to go through and get this up and running. So with that said, let's go ahead and just bring up... We'll bring up our C drive here, and you can always right-click on your C drive, go to Properties and it'll give you an idea of how much space it is. So I do have a small C drive because it is an SSD drive. SSD drives, they're very expensive to get larger ones right now, unfortunately. So I was stuck getting something this size knowing that I'm going to have space issues. But one day maybe I'll splurge and get a larger one. Till then I'm just going to have to keep deleting games just to make space for Fortnite. So let's go ahead and check out Fortnite here. If we go to C, Program Files, Epic Games, and we right-click and do Property, looks like it's taking up 66.2 gigs. So that is a lot of space, but there should be a lot more room. So sometimes I do run something so called CCleaner. You can go ahead and run that if you would like. That will help clear up some space. With me, I know it's a game because the only thing that's really large on here that I leave on my C drive are games. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. So basically, I just went to uh, the search and typed uninstall, and this came up. So I just want to look through here, see what could be large and taking up my space. Uh, the Twitch app, I don't really use that, but it is only 400 megabytes, but that is a good amount, actually. We'll, we'll maybe change that. Let's see what else we got. Let's go by size here. So Adobe Premiere, that's my editing software. That has to stay. Adobe After Effects, I haven't used yet. Um, I want to, but I haven't yet. Let's see how much space we need. We just need 603 megabytes. So we can remove After Effects if we wanted to. Let's see if there's something else. Lightroom, I don't use. So Lightroom is what it's going to be. So you, when you get in here, just sort it by size and you'll get a good idea and then you can remove that item so i'll go to lightroom uninstall so now it should be removed i'm gonna go ahead and just hit f5 to refresh and it's gone so that should be enough space so let's go ahead and go out of here and we're gonna go ahead and click ok here we're gonna get rid of this because this sorry we're gonna get rid of this because this is not what we want to happen we want to be able to update every time all right, click OK, and we're going to click on it and choose Resume. So now it's going through and installing, and it's going to go ahead and update. So if this ever happens to you, this is how you can go ahead and get it fixed. Make sure when you check your C drive that you 
your C drive is big enough to hold the game, because if not, you're not going to be able to go ahead and play it. Hope this video helped. If it did, make sure you smack that like button. I would really appreciate it. And I have some other videos I think you'll enjoy. Check them out, and I'll see you in the next one.